Hey guys, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. I am in front of an apple tree and this is an apple. It has a great big chunk out of it that's been eaten by one of these European hornets. And I don't know if I can catch them. I see one flying, flying around up there. Actually, there's two of them up there. Great big old things. Probably around, big around is my yeah, middle finger, I guess. As big around as my middle finger, and eh, probably about an inch and a half, two inches long. So I'll see if I can get a close up of them a little bit later on. But the issue is not so much that they're eating apples. Like this one right here. If I can find it on the, there it is. The, I, I can share apples with them, even though there's quite a few of them, they can come through and like this one right here, they just chew it out a little bit right there. I don't have a problem with that, but they have moved on to eating trees now. And let me show you what I mean by that. They're sitting there chewing on the bark. There's one going at it right now. There's another one up there. You can see, well, it's kind of shadowed, but, and they are just, eating the bark, the cambium, right off of the tree slash bush. So, so this is a lilac bush and I'm really not a big fan of this thing anyhow. But just the fact that they're chewing up these bushes or this bush in several different spots and actually there's quite a few of them on here. There's other areas on this thing that they're chewing it up. I've been watching whenever I see them go on something and what really pissed me off is when I saw them going after that tree, which is my jujube. I'll take you over and show you that one in just a second. As a matter of fact, I just saw one fly up to it. So this is my jujube tree, and that is fresh right there, probably from today. And it's not all the way around, but it's almost all the way around. And I haven't done a complete look over on this to see if there's any other damage here. But I'm thinking I'm gonna need to stop these little buggers because they have voracious appetites and they are leaving, not messing with the fruit much anymore and they're starting to go after the trees, so. Okay, here's a close up of these guys. Hopefully I can hold this steady enough for you to see them. This guy's not quite sure what I'm doing here. And with a little research, I found that what he's doing or what it's doing is getting the bark off of the tree here so it can go and make a nest. It uses it as nest making material. And also the European wasp shown right here is the largest hornet. Actually, it's not a wasp, but the European hornet is the largest hornet in North America. And seem to be plenty here today. They're not aggressive out and about unless you're going after them. So I am probably four inches away from these guys right now. And they don't really seem to be paying me too much mind. The only time that they would come after me and really get pissed off is if I was around their nest. So they would sting, they would bite, they would do all kinds of stuff. But this is not their nest. They're gathering material to make their nest. So they are just kind of ignoring me here and going about their business. I'm amazed how close he's letting me get. I'm like two inches away from him right now. And I should say her, it's a her, not a him. spotted me. She's like, hey, get out of here. So what is the plans or are the plans for the European Hornets? I was thinking about sticking Murphy on them. Nah, I think I'll pass on that because he would actually go after them and end up getting stung. So what we're going to do right now, we're late enough in the season. We're just going to let them go. We're going to assess the damage on the trees themselves, uh, especially the prized ones here like the jujube tree and if 
the, it is not permanently damaged and it recovers okay, then we're just going to leave them be and go about our business. If it is causing permanent crop damage of some type, well, we're, we'll have to deal with it and come up with another plan and we'll post a video next year if that is the case. Well, this has certainly been the year for pests and issues in the orchard and then in the garden. So we have struggled with slugs and Japanese beetles and cicada brood X, the 17 year cycle. We've had drought and you can see we lost a lot of leaves here and that's as a result of the drought and the fact that we don't irrigate here. And now we have the Jap Japanese, the European hornets that are going through. They've been eating the fruit and now they're eating fruit trees. So it's just one thing after another, but the orchard has been very resilient. We still have good fruit here and we do have enough to share as long as they just eat the fruit and stop eating our trees so that's it for this video please consider subscribing to our youtube channel following us on our odyssey channel and liking our video as well as leaving a comment all of that helps us out thank you very much and have a great day